Russian law enforcement officials are investigating the theft of a huge metal railroad bridge in the western part of the country that was apparently sold for scrap metal for just over $15,000. The mysterious disappearance of an entire steel bridge, estimated to weigh at least 60 tons, in Ryazan region, around 200 kilometers southeast of Moscow, was first reported by local activist Svetlana Konovalova. She told local media that the bridge in Skopinski district had been privatized by a local railway company with all the necessary paperwork in place to prove ownership. However, an unidentified group of people reportedly found documents stating that the structure belonged to no one and dismantled it. The actual owner of the bridge then asked police to look into the matter. Konovalova added, noting that the thieves and the rightful owner knew each other and had previously failed to make a deal on a sale. In a statement on Friday, the local police department confirmed that it had received a complaint about the disappearance of a metal structure of a non-functioning railway bridge more than a week ago. It is added that it had opened a criminal investigation. A local telegram channel shared photos of the scene of the theft showing two large concrete pylons towering over a shallow river. Konovalova described the missing bridge as a gigantic Soviet-era construction, adding that she was surprised that no one paid attention to the dismantling operation, which most likely took several days. She also urged law enforcement agencies to bring the culprits to justice and make them rebuild the bridge. Meanwhile, the 60-ton bridge, or what's left of it, soon surfaced at a local scrap metal collection point, according to the MASH Telegram channel, which claimed that the bridge thief received 1.3 million rubles, or $15,000, for the metal. The bridge is estimated to have cost 300 million rubles, or $3.5 million. MASH reported that the bridge was sold by a local 37-year-old resident but suggested that he was used by someone to simply sign the paperwork and received less than $60 for his service. Police told TASS that the bridge was inactive, adding that the railroad was not under the jurisdiction of the local administration or other state bodies. MASH reported that it was used by local residents as a shortcut to other nearby settlements. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that he would create an action plan for peace by the end of November. In an interview with Japanese broadcaster NHK, Zelensky stressed that Kyiv would start detailed discussions with relevant countries on Ukraine's territorial integrity and other issues related to the ongoing war with Russia. He also touched upon his recent phone call with former US President Donald Trump, revealing that he invited Donald Trump to visit his country. If Mr. Trump wants to learn something about Ukraine, he can come and see for himself or ask me. We have been in contact with his team. Mr. Trump told me he was available for any questions, and that I have his phone number," Zelensky said. Furthermore, Zelensky named three factors for winning the ongoing war with Russia patience, support and diplomatic pressure are the three factors for a just end to the war. If the US and European nations maintain unity, there will be added pressure, and show Moscow that there is no chance," he said. Zelensky stressed that he cannot respond to calls for a ceasefire while Russia continues to occupy Ukrainian territory. Meanwhile, in his overnight address yesterday, Zelensky admitted that fighting in the eastern Ukraine region was extremely challenging. It is extremely challenging in the Donetsk directions, and it is in the Pokrovsk direction that there have been the biggest number of Russian assaults these weeks, the most intense enemy attacks are precisely there," he said, adding that, everyone who stops these Russian strikes and destroys this Russian offensive potential is performing one of the most important missions in this war. Despite the tense situation near Pokrovsk, Ukraine has the strength to achieve its goals, the Ukrainian leader added in his address. His comments came after Russia said on Sunday that its forces had captured Progres and Yevgenivka villages in the Donetsk region.